Okay, 6.30, day two. It's a little bit late today uh, for dinner. Yesterday, the dinner came earlier. Today is a bit later. So let's start with dinner. I got it, but I'm quite full because I had the... Uh, I went, I ordered some stuff from Donkey, okay? And then I... And and if you're watching this, Jesse, I told you I don't fucking eat sweet potatoes, but now I'm... Uh, I don't know what else to order that I had to eat a potato. You, you drive a man to eat a potato, a sweet potato, he is going nuts. So anyway, dinner looks okay. It's like rice. I think this is chicken, fish, vegetables. I mean, it's okay. It's it's. People ask me, you know, how's the food? How's the food? The food is okay. It's like catered food. You know, the kind they eat at a friend's baby shower, or or you know, if you've you've done like uh, NDP, you know, packing goodie bag, you get this like lunch boxes. I think it's about there. It's maybe slightly better. But there's no nothing special. I did get a different fruit. I get a I got a banana, which is nice after having three days of apple. I about three three meals of apple. And then uh, I just wanted to show you guys something. Hold on, let me just get it. Now there's there's some sunlight now. Okay. I don't know if you can see here all these like du dust. Dust? It's really driving me nuts. So I'm gonna do something for a change today, but before I, I go and talk about that, I just wanna talk about the Starbucks mug. Now the hotel doesn't give me bottled water. It doesn't, uh, I have a tiny like coffee mug. Uh, it's kind of useless. And uh, maybe if you're watching this Far East Hospitality, people want a cup of about this size so they can put fluids inside and drink it and not really worry about spilling it if they topple it. So this is the reason why I've actually keep, I'm actually keeping my Starbucks paper cup to use for drinking water because there's this like lid, I can fill it with water. I don't, I don't worry about like lizards or shit going in at night. Mm. Yeah, it's not that I'm a brand snob. I just need a cup or something that I can drink from not a tiny ass coffee cup so let me get to the gist of what's going to happen today i've decided to order myself a vacuum cleaner yes i ordered this uh, okay this is the, the cut, cut cutting box here's the actual thing i've ordered this thing which is a, a tipei chinese uh Dyson knockoff vacuum and I'm gonna turn this into an un unboxing video so here we go I've not opened this this is the first time I'm opening it and I've never ever done an unboxing video so why not I do it now and we're gonna review this vacuum and see how it goes here it is ah freak can't open this get it out get it out Ooh, look at that. Okay. Let's take this apart. Away. And it looks exactly like a Dyson. There's an instruction manual, which you know, uh, I will probably not count on it for most Chinese products. But it does look like a Dyson. It has a, a, a pole here that looks like a Dyson thing. You know, feels like a Dyson thing. Pretty damn solid. Um, uh, the nozzle heads just like the Dyson, they have a thin one, you know, the one for like corners, a little brush thing, and then this is the floor thing which is which has a nice like microfiber, um, a ni nice uh, microfiber thing that doesn't trap hairs. It feels really fluffy here. Hmm. I'm sure Dyson patented the word fluffy maybe, or trademarked it. I'm going to take this out. And then of course, there's this crevice pool. I'm gonna take it out anyway. Looks like that. Looks the same. It looks actually a little bit like the V6, maybe. The older one, not the V8. Here's the brush one. And then a power adapter for charging. This looks a little bit more flimsy than the Dyson one. Uh, if you do have a Dyson, you realize that this part this is the part that connects to the, the vacuum. 
is actually uh, much better, well made. It's probably like 90 degree angle. And then this is the bracket for you to put the vacuum on the wall. I'm not gonna take it apart the screws inside, but this is definitely nowhere near the Dyson one. The Dyson is a huge bracket with a spring and everything. And then, um, here's the actual vacuum unit, which I think everybody is waiting to see. Here it is. Wow, look at that. Looks like a, look like, looks like a gun. And obviously, I think it is low on battery. Oh, oh, it's a toggle switch. You don't have to hold it. You press it once, it switches on. You press it again, it switches off. Ah, oh, that's nice. And of course, you can set the output here. Uh, let me switch it on again. You can see at the back, that's the output switch. And I think it's gonna keep me entertained for a while. I mean, the sound level of this thing, it sounds pretty okay. Um, it's not too loud. In the, uh, in the low mode, it's not, uh, you know, it's not in the, it's quieter than my V V8 Fluffy actually that I have at home. So I'd say it's not bad. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna vacuum up the bed, the, all this crap, all the hair, all the fur, and and all the crap that's on the on the like the, the side tables and even here like this this is just incredibly dusty for a hotel maybe because it was empty for quite a while during the whole covid period so the sheets might have been put there for for months before somebody actually came into the hotel i don't know right and and often like all the dust gets sucked up by the aircon and then it spews the dust back out so that's why it's dusty but uh, all in all, this looks pretty okay. And so I'm gonna assemble it and uh, we'll do another video review after uh, I test it out.